truck stuck, Steve. It ain't that bad yet. I don't know, man. It's pretty. Can't get out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Internet? Steve and I are back with another test video. You may have found yourself in this situation before at the beach or, or heck, where we live, there's sand everywhere. You're stuck in the sand. You're stuck in the mud. Um, we could put it in four-wheel drive and probably get it out, but we got some products that we want to test out. It's these different traction devices. So I'm sure some of y'all have seen these before. There's a brand out called the Maxxis. Um, or max tracks, I'm sorry, that uh, are like these uh, portable souped up boards to go under your uh, under your tires to help get you out. They also make short ones like this. And then here's a more portable option, which is a rolled up rubberized type deal. So we're gonna test these out, you know, give you our thoughts on them, see which ones perform. That's like a plate for a uh... High lift jack. Yeah, for a high lift jack. So some of them got different features than others. So I'm not sure the brands of these. Daniel ordered a bunch of these, and he, um, for whatever reason, we weren't able to get the Max Tracks ones. They were back ordered or whatever. But so these are similar. Um, like this one here is black. It's got handles all the way around. What's really cool about them is you can use the ends as shovels. Um, and this one actually has a cutout in it for a high lift jack. So if you have a high lift jack, or I guess if you got any kind of bottle jack that'll sit right there, that'll help with surface area and soft soil. So when you're trying to jack up the truck, if you got a flat or something, you're not just sending the jack down into the ground. So which one you want to do first, D? You want to do those black ones? Yeah. All right. That was a shovel work. Not bad considering it's not a shovel. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As you can see, that was a pretty good, pretty deep hole. Pull yeah. right on out of there. You, 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 dug, you, you sunk me down pretty good there, Steve. Back it back in, try the other one. Or do we just keep digging holes? <laughs> I'll back it back in. Right. So these are the next ones we're going to try out. You can see the pattern on them. Not very aggressive. Yeah, it doesn't have very tall times i'm gonna call them right there and it had trouble picking up on those so i think this yeah. one's gonna be a problem well on two you have to go somewhat easy yeah. right like if you go to spinning it's over it's, it's done so yeah. you want it to grab and and like it was starting to pull it down and then it starts to really grip well yeah. so <laughs> this is the one with the uh jack plate you can see the difference I'm going to go ahead and put my money on a fail on this one. Yeah, this just doesn't seem like it's got a lot of, I don't know, grippy. Yeah. I'm grippy gonna, surface. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to break another sweat All right. on this one for a fail. I'm going to try these. Backed into the same hole. And, and just let them know we started to get stuck out there. Yeah, we, we were yeah. going. Yeah. 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 We're it's, not that de dedicated today. Yeah, it's too hot to do yeah. that today. It even sounds way smoother. Yeah. Like I can't hear the teeth of the, like rubbing on the tire. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that ain't. Rubbing <clears throat> Yeah. That one no good. Yeah, very aggressive. Yeah. 
and a and a wide a wide plate too. Yeah, so this has got almost looks like a, diamond stuff. A surfboard with teeth. Yeah. <laughs> a lot wider and a lot more grip. Yeah. And these actually come with a way that you can mount them together for storage. And straps on the side. And straps on the side where those are just, I mean, they fit together, but they weren't locked together in any way. A little bit heavier, too. Yeah. You can tell these are made a little better. All right. We'll shove those in and see how they work. <clears throat> I bet you that comes out of there. y'all waiting on not today steve don't want to get hurt today all right i got my money on these all right here we go trying to do it nice and easy come on old girl come on there it goes there it goes look at that <laughs> heck yeah yeah those work great those work great so this right here grip way way better than that one and better than that one i spun quite a bit on that one though that one did get me out but this one right here i really didn't spin much at all all right but there's one more option <clears throat> which I, I really hope works well it's this option here so way more compact you can put this in just regular small vehicles cars um, four wheelers you name it and It's simply a rubberized track, basically. So, only got one of them. So we'll see how that works. So, these are, looks like they're a lot easier to get up in, like in there. Yeah, and they, they lay with a contour, so, so. Yeah, one thing I did notice on the other ones, it's like with you, you're getting stuck, so you got a yeah. running board that's coming down really low here. Yeah. And you would have to really manipulate those other ones to get it under there. Yeah. And I mean, I guess you could, yeah, you, know, you could put it on the back and and back out. Yeah. It's just the same if you did have not enough room here. Um, and then of course, obviously, if you had the capacity to carry those with you, we'll talk about carry options for the longer ones later. Um. I would assume you'd have a shovel. If you were carrying those, I would think you'd have a shovel so you could dig out so that you could better use them um, without having to use the, them themselves as shovels. But so those I don't are know. cool. They lay flat. These are cool, they're flat, they're compact. You can throw it into, I mean, you got a decent size uh, center console. You can put them in there, obviously put them in the trunk, toolbox, whatever. Um, and they're, a great option in comparison to the boards for sure so let's try it out come on baby come on little buddy come on come on Able to get me moving 
right? Where I wasn't just sitting on the same board spinning. And if I had another one, I really believe I would have been able to come on out pretty good. You think? I do. I like those. Because I was just using one, right? And we buried it for the next guy. So we got the four wheeler stuck. Um, it's a two wheel drive four wheeler. Uh, got pretty good tires for sand, but we were able to, me and Steve manipulate into <laughs> digging a hole and getting stuck. So I just had to sit on the front. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're going to try out these smaller ones and maybe that, uh, that flexible one again, just because I think it's cool. I really, I really think this is cool. If you had three more of these, I think these will work great. So, <coughs> first up, you got the smaller ones. Again, the design is a little different. You can find these all over the internet. All sorts of different designs and styles. Very aggressive. Um, again, the uh, the more common brand of this type of product is Max Tracks, and uh, they got it pretty pretty figured out. So these are smaller. You can use on a four wheeler application a utv application anything like that um even a small car application you got an old two-wheel drive car or whatever so i'm going to shove these down and see if it can climb climb up out of the hole here See if we can back it out. Yeah. It didn't really want to come at first. Yeah, it kind of had to, kind of had to grab them and, and get them up under the tire pretty good, but I mean, came out i'm not 100 percent sure if the shape of these teeth are ideal um yeah. i think the max tracks ones are more like a straight blade um versus a round tooth or anything um but no i mean it worked pretty good very lightweight too very lightweight and you they just, got mounting options um you can just strap those to the front of your front Great grill. Yeah. You can strap this to to the rack, rack of your four wheeler and have an option. Um, they also sell different kind of tabs that you can mount to racks and roof racks, and even inside your vehicle, it's got a a bar that goes through and locks, so you can keep these in your vehicles, in your jeeps, in your SUVs, in your on top of your trucks, whatever. Um, I don't have any of that stuff to show you, but they do have it if you're interested in checking those types of things out. But, uh, all right, well, let's try that little rubber guy right there. disadvantage test because I only got one of these but if it works imagine what two would be like see a piece of it right there. It 
And that was with just one. That was just with one. It pulled it down. I mean, it looked like it grabbed it pretty good and started pulling. Yeah, it kind of sucked it under itself, and yeah. then, then it took off. So, yeah, if you had a couple more of these, just cable ties. I guess you could cable tie one to another to make it longer. Um, and then, of course, put it on the other tire as well. Another cool feature about the boards, the different types of boards, is if you do come up on a situation where you need to cross a deep rut or go over a log or something like that, you can actually use them to help bridge over that. And they're supposed to have a good bit of flex. So when they flex, they'll kind of conform to your tire, help you over the obstacle. Um, so we're gonna test our flex capabilities. So we're gonna start with these orange ones right here. And Steve's behind the wheel. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, the log's tearing to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> well, I guess we could have picked a better uh, test log, Steve. Well, that side did good. Yeah, that side kind of held up. So, but yeah, it flexed pretty good. Um, I didn't hear any cracking or anything. Um, came back pretty close. I mean, it's got a little bit of a bow to it, maybe, but not much. Cool. Let's try the other ones. They flex pretty good. I couldn't even tell I was a holy, I mean, other than having to give it more gas, it wasn't, Yeah. I mean, it wasn't much of a. It didn't spin, but I could, but yeah, I mean, it. this one here popped off the log, but I mean, they flex pretty good and go back into shape. I didn't hear any cracking or anything. Oh, that one made some noise. All right, I hadn't looked at them yet, but right. the, these ones were a little more vocal than the other ones. I could hear it in the cab. <laughs> so, heard some popping. Now, I don't know if that meant anything broke, but we'll see. I don't see any splits. Uh -huh. Maybe just with its flex, it just wanted to say something to you. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, they don't, they don't appear to be messed up at all. I will say they do have some, this is the good one. I like this one. Yeah. But why put this design in there? That doesn't really grab like like these. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean. And if you look, they're even angled. I mean, that's a good design. Yeah. But it's like you're missing. You're I don't missing know. I guess if you, if, you got a, if you got a wider tire and you're aired down for off-road use, I mean, some people's tires would go yeah. all the way across that, and maybe maybe these would help, you know. Or if it does flex enough in a hole, maybe it can wrap. I don't know, but, but yeah. So all of them flex pretty good, bounce back into position with no problem. So what do you think, Steve? Oh, I dig it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun. Get out of the office and yeah. play in the oh, dirt a little bit. But uh, so that was our quick uh non-scientific <laughs> very non-scientific <laughs> non way of testing out some of these traction options um and not everybody's into going off-road not everybody's got the ability to carry you know large traction devices like these that we tested out um but if if you do they're a great option to have but for the average person that needs something in their vehicle in case they get stuck. Snowstorm. Snowstorm. I mean, me and Daniel's been down to Tybee Island and seen people, because some of the streets are narrow right. there, people kind of get off to the edge to let somebody else by, and they get stuck in their little two-wheel drive awesome. Civic or something like that, right? So um, having something like this 
it's pretty freaking sweet, I yeah. think. So this thing right here, I think is really cool. It's just simply because your average person could, could utilize yeah. something like that. <clears throat> Easy to store. Yeah. Rolls up, compact. And, and that's, that's part of the thing, especially for the average consumer is having something that's compact that does the job. So that actually did really well. So if you are into off-roading and stuff like that, especially four wheelers and UTVs and things like that, something like that will probably be pretty cool to have a couple of those. Um, these right here are pretty nice too. They're small. Um, these probably work well for your average, you know, person. Car. In, in a car and stuff like that. Um, and these work good too. Some a little better than others, but it's a storage thing, right? Yeah. So there definitely are ways that you can mount these two vehicles to the interior of vehicles, to the exterior of vehicles. Um, but again, you got to have the type of vehicle that you'd want something like that strapped to. I mean, most people in trucks and stuff like that, you can throw them in the back of a truck. They're small enough, probably fit in the bottom of most truck toolboxes. I guess um, if you're like an accountant. And you want to show the people at your office you're badass, like strap the big yeah. orange ones to like your roof rack, you yeah. Honda Accord or something. Yeah, or if you want to, you know, you got yeah. tactical people, I tactical. guess. Cool. What do they call the off road <laughs> enthusiast cool people? The four wheel driver cool people? So, like the people with the trailer queen four wheel drives that never get in. Pull up in a Honda Accord. Ne like, never use the four wheel drive. <laughs> I don't need skis, but I got some. I got $500 worth of Max tracks on there, though, by guy. These are off brands i don't know if you consider them knockoffs i mean they they did well they did the job uh with the exception of this guy this one right here no bite no bite no real bite i mean all you're relying on is a star symbol and this is the hardest part right here yeah you just got to grab it and start to pull it as it i guess that's the big thing too is it's got to it's got to be grippy enough so that the tire pull it down in there and really get a bite yeah. on it right because you're not necessarily you're not really going to climb it unless you dig down like yeah. crazy so um pretty cool little test let us know what you think down in the comments below if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share with your friends and steve and i'll see you on the next testing video yeehaw all right guys steve here guess where i'm going going to lunch guess who's not going with me brandon I don't know if you can see him, he's walking to his four wheeler. Not only do I have his phone here, four wheeler key. Hey, you got my keys? Sure do. You got my key to the four wheeler? Yep.